In Adobe Illustrator, every new document that you create comes already having a grid implemented, although you can't see it because the visibility of it is turned off by default. To make your grid visible, go to View and select Show Grid, and your grid will populate on your canvas. If you'd like to edit your grid, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and select Guides and Grid. From this menu, you can change the color of your grid lines over here. You could change the style between lines or dots, and then you can change the number of grid lines on your canvas by controlling the spacing right here. So for example, I will change this to 50, and I will add five subdivisions between each major grid line. And I will click OK, and as you can see, the grid on my canvas updates accordingly. Now if I grab the rectangle tool and create a rectangle on the canvas here, and give this a random color like that, you'll notice that the object is appearing on top of the grid lines. If you'd like to make it so that the grid lines appear on top of the object, you can go back to Edit, My Preferences, and select Guides and Grids, and make sure you deselect this option right here that says Grids in the back. If you deselect that and click OK, now your grid lines will appear on top of your objects like that. And once you are finished working with your grid, you can turn the visibility of it back off by going to View and selecting hide grid right here. Or you could use the keyboard shortcut for both, which is control and the quotation mark. So that, there you go, that toggles it on and off like that. So that is how you can work with grids in Adobe Illustrator.